Um, they're making us wait for it more, and it's it's definitely gonna kind of it. They're gonna have to prove themselves because I, I don't mind this being pushed off. This Kenny match, I don't mind holding off a little bit. Well, until, what do you mean hold off? Like till all out or till later date? I don't know. I don't know what this means. They mm. they kind of weren't hitting you, uh, us over the head with the stipulation. I didn't feel, but um, that's what was said, right? He wouldn't. He wouldn't challenge. Yeah, yeah. There's. It's either you're saying that because they're gonna wait to do this match later, because all out they have different plans now, or are they gonna make it? Maybe he he cheated, so someone's gonna. Yeah, that's what we're either gonna get story with Hangman trying to get a win to challenge at all out, or it could be beyond all out. Interesting. They could have different plans. Oh man, I think everyone was interested in seeing Hangman Kenny at all out, but that's. Quite, that that's kind of dampers that a bit. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't know. Who are the other like ranked wrestlers besides him? They mentioned Christian. Christian. Who's number two? Um, Daniel Bryan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you have to have Hangman fight someone else to maybe Hangman beats Christian and to prove that he's like I don't know. I don't it's, know. What it's either. weird because I, I, I thought that was definitely the direction we were going, but. You never know with these certain signings they've got going, whether they're shifting things, whether this was always the plan. That they've been telling a very long story with Kenny and Hangman, right back from the beginning of AEW. Yeah. This story's been building and building. Maybe they're making us wait a bit more. Damn, that's that's I think it's happening at all out. Come on. You gotta that's gotta and you can I, still lose at at all out, but give us the match. Yeah. Like, you've pushed it for this much. It, I, think, I think so. There's still a few weeks, and they're going to have these rampages, too, to build True. stuff. So who knows what they'll do. But Yeah, there's a lot of TV, so maybe just stretch out a little. Yeah. Tool out. Well, I loved the fact that they did this, like, cross-promotion team thing with the Space Jam. Because in the new Space Jam, it's all about Warner Media. Like, they go to different Warner products and places trying to get... A basketball team but no one like harry potter world right. game of Thrones worlds whatever batman gotham metropolis like anything owned by warner whatever but then i swear in the movie bugs bunny like goes over and sees tnt as like the property the, the channel and he goes ah like nothing good airs on tnt or whatever <laughs> or, or they'll air anything on tnt and like flicks back over like doesn't show interest so there's your crossover i was expecting AEW to show up. So the crossover is Space Jam was shitting on TNT. Essentially. (laughs) And and then TNT responded by just promoting their film. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. They have to, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, As I mentioned, Space Jam, the the new Odyssey, what is it? The new Dynasty, the new franchise player. It wasn't uh, that great, but your kids will love it if you got kids. We go to, well, I, I love that match. This was such a hot opener. It went like oh half yeah, an hour. this was awesome. It went like half hour, and I, I absolutely loved One it. One of my favorite opens to Dynamite. Th- this was one hundred percent. This whole uh, thing with the entrances and the match itself, and that I'm intrigued still in this story. Uh, not like surprised me. So yeah, a great opener. Yeah, I I really liked liked it. It reminded me of a Survivor Series match, but it felt important. It felt everyone was hitting their marks, and the the entrances made it feel like it was almost like a pay per view. Or something. Really, one hundred percent. Definitely one of the best opening matches in Dynamite, and it went long because it was a lot of people. But great. 